Hi guys, Wondersun here. In this short tutorial I'm going to teach you how to import SVG images into your PySide or PyQt projects without the image appearing pixelated when its dimensions are changed. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos and if you like this tutorial please leave your like. To start I have a folder with two files here. The first is the logo of the Pi One Dark project that is in development and was created using Inkscape, and the second is just a simple Pi Side 6 window. This is a 500 by 500 pixel window with only one frame with a background color applied to the window. To follow the tutorial just pause and write the same codes or download the source code for this tutorial that is available to all Patreon supporters. The first step is to import the QTSVG widgets class, where you will give us access to the widget called QSVG widget. Add this widget to the project and then create a string that will contain the address of our SVG image and apply it as a parameter to the QSVG widget. After that we will add this widget to the layout that is created above. Layouts is a way to add widgets to our application responsively where they will adapt to the size of the window. See that the widget is displayed inside our window and has its size adjusted to the application screen. Without any deformation occurring in the image, this is because it is rendering a vector image at runtime. Our image is 300 by 70 pixels in size, and to display it in its real size we can center this widget according to our layout. See that the image is displayed in its actual size, however it can still be deformed if the window is resized in any direction. We can set the size we want in our image so that there is no deformation. To get the size of the SVG the QSVG widget does not provide us with the actual size of our image dynamically, for that we will import another module called QTSVG, which contains the QSVG render class which is not a widget, however will give us the actual dimensions of the file using the default size method. See that now our image is displayed correctly without any deformation. If you want, you can also manually apply the size that the image should be displayed, but be careful that the image is not displayed with the wrong proportions, as this will leave the image stretched horizontally or vertically. And we end here another tutorial. These tutorials and projects are only being created thanks to Patreon supporters, who help me to dedicate more time to create tutorials, as well as our new interface Pi One Dark that will soon be available to all Patreon supporters with early access. Thanks to all Patreon supporters and all channel subscribers. See you in the next video.